Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when EA app shows blank screen like this. So here you can see on the top it's EA, the rest of the thing is blank. And you don't see these games and images like this. So if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try a reload page option in EA app. So on the top left here, you can see three horizontal lines. So you can click on it and then you will go to view and then click on reload page and then check still not working in that case the next step is to close all ea services in task manager and then launch ea app as an administrator now for this make a right click in the start menu then go to task manager and then find ea app or any ea services running so you can find over here you can see so many ea process running so make a right click and then click on end task so make a right click on each one and task and task if you see ea background service make a right click and task and here you can see ea make a right click then click on end task now once you close all the ea services over here now you can type in EA app in Windows search box then make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can check now still you are facing the problem then the next step is to repair EA app now to repair EA app type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel now click on uninstall a program now over here find EA app in the list first of all close EA app so if EA app is running exit and then once you find EA app make a right click and then click on uninstall click on yes to allow and here do not uninstall you will see repair option over here so click on repair and let the process complete once the repair is complete it should open EA app but still not resolved in that case clear EA app cash for now for this type in it's installing so so just type in ea and then make a right click on ea app and then click on open file location now once you click on open file location you will see app recovery over here make a right click on app recovery and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes to allow and then you will see clear cache option so click on clear cache and once this is done it will relaunch ea app and then check still the issue is not resolved then in that case the next step is to start ea background service now for this you can type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find ea background service make a double click on ea background service and then set the startup type to automatic hit apply click on start in my case it's already running so in your case if you see the start option click on start and then click on ok and then you can launch the ea app and then check still not resolved next step is to run ea app updater now for this type in ea app again and then make a right click then click on open file location and then here you can see ea app updater make a double click and then click on yes to allow and if there is any update it will update it if there is there is no update then it will simply close and then you can try to open ea app and then check next step is to next step is to update your windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update this is important now once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch ea app and then check still not resolved uninstall and reinstall the ea app so if nothing is working you can close ea app first and then type in control panel and then go to control panel click on uninstall a program select ea app in the list and then make a right click and then click on uninstall click on yes and then click on uninstall once again and then you can go to ea website you can type in ea app in google search and then you can go to ea website and then 
after the uninstall make sure that you restart your computer and then download the e-app install it and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch e-app successfully and you should not see blank screen anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel